That missing fee money from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. So there's no way they could have that much money since her mom only works part time. See, how could it not be her? And with such an innocent face too. Even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some respect. <laughs> Let's go outside. We can finish talking there. any books let's go you heard all that right there have been rumors going around my class the only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you I don't really have anyone else I can count on. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. Excuse me.